take no thought. It's pleasant when one comes to you and says, I've made all the arrangements for the day's outing. I've made all the arrangements for a vacation. I've made all of the arrangements for the evening's entertainment. So take no thought about it. There's an abandon, a letting go, and I don't have a bother attitude of mind, which is very refreshing. So abandon is that state of mind which relaxes. It lets go and takes, it takes the promises of the Bible as true and good. It takes them as promises that can and will be fulfilled without much effort. You see, when we're carefree, when we are joyous, we are we're taking no thought. That is, we're not worrying. We're not being anxious about what comes forth in the sense testimony. Taking no thought, this attitude brings a, a glorious freedom. You recognize that because God is infinite mind, God will do his own thinking, and your taking thought is going to avail you nothing. But taking no thought, getting your, your human mind out of the way, you're then allowing yourself to tune into the Father within, and you will then receive messages, inspirations, Instruction, guidance, protection, sustenance, and supply. Christ took no thought of provisions when he went out into the desert with a. If he had taken thought, can you imagine the special? the officers, the men, the cooks, the waiters, that would have been necessary to attend all their needs. But you see, he took no thought in these things. He knew that at the precise moment and in the precise form that he needed it would appear the thing that he wanted and the thing that he asked for. Take no thought. Take no thought of the journey. Take no thought of your life as a journey. For isn't it pleasant when one comes to you and says, I have made arrangements for everything in your life. For I am the truth. I am the life. I am the way. Take no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow. But with life is eternal without without limit. The truth is we find the main thing is to bring in the good and powerful thoughts. Our business is not examining the nature of evil, but imbibing the quality called love, filling our lives with it, taking no thought about anything else. The thing that we often forget 
but the Bible reminds us, and that is, ye are gods. And all of us are children of the Most High. You have only to turn in thought to God and realize at this instant you are in the kingdom of heaven. It only requires a little practice to find it a very easy thing to do. All of us are children of the living God. The God who we are a child of is a living God and is infinite. Then take no thought for life, for life, God, will take care of itself. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Thou shalt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, for he trusteth thee. The gift of power, it's yours. Remember always that the gift of power direct from God to you is yours. Even should you suddenly be attacked by the mystification of fear, you can listen and hear the power speaking to you. Fear not. I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Wait upon, wait upon the mind to think. In other words, put yourself in that take no thought awareness. And you shall hear the information the instruction for overcoming the fear that seemingly bound you. And the gift of love? When you open yourself, you realize that you have this gift and that as you live this gift, you have dissolved the mists of hatred, revenge, criticism, and all evil thinking. Once you become conscious of the gift of love, you go about imparting love. What a wonderful mission we have in life, imparting the gift of love. Practice imparting love to everything that lives. And in the evening, you will be in harmony with the whole world. For all the time that you are imparting love, you are actually in the kingdom of heaven and experiencing real love. Take no thought so that once again you are reminded it is so pleasant when someone comes to you and says, I have made all the arrangements for your life, so take no thought about it. Experience the abandon that is natural are. Thank you for your attention.